guys, so today I want to make a quick video tutorial on how to decide if you can take on a last minute booking, what to do if you have to say no, and how to still keep some positive rapport with that potential lost client in the end. So you've probably seen this quote sheet in a few videos, so we're going to stick to it. So this is our event info, and let's pretend that date of request, date of request, it's Jan 2nd. So this is a five-day window, and usually this would be a yes, usually. That's if we for sure can get everything for the event. Five days is a very short window, and some people don't realize that because you have to order stuff for your canapes, let's say two to three days lead time to order that. Let's say this is four to seven days lead time for champagne and can be same day for organizing staff. Having five days, you could pull it off. Some rules though is you're going to have to send your quote and collect payment like the same day as that inquiry. You're going to have to get that out and get that out fast. I would advise against saying yes to an event like this and hurrying and ordering and then you haven't gotten any payment yet. And then two days pass, stuff's starting to arrive and then they cancel and they didn't put a down payment in. If they cannot do a down payment, say no. You, I will tell you from experience, it will be a huge headache later if you don't collect at least 50% up front. I would highly encourage collecting in full, but bare minimum, cover your ordering costs, so be sure you know that. Now let's say date of request is the fourth. So, all ingredients might arrive the day before or day of. Champagne for sure wouldn't arrive. So you have two options that definitely you're going to want to have a quick team call on this, which would be, hey, same rule. We're going to have to collect payment the same day and start ordering. But you're going to have to talk to your team and be like, hey, they want champagne. Can you go to the store and find it? And can you spend no more than $45 on a bottle and we only need six bottles? Six bottles is not much. That's pretty easy to manage. Let's say it's 10 times the amount and you need 60. You are likely going to have to turn it away. Most local shops will not sell that much to you in one go. They don't want one person coming and buying all their stock out and there's nothing left for the rest of the customers. We have been in situations where the delivery hasn't arrived, so we went to a local shop. And we had to stop at three different locations to get the beer we needed because they'd only sell two to three cases at a time, and we needed like seven cases. So it's something to keep in mind if you're going to turn to local shops, be sure you can get what you need. Let's say, let's move it again, <laughs> date of request is fifth. Yeah. You are likely only going to be able to say yes if you can either get everything local that day, no time to order supplies for canapes, no time for anything. You're going local and or you have storage and you have extra champagne laying around and you've had another event coming up that you have enough time to reorder for and you're going to be using supplies. People within food and beverage don't always understand that you're not sitting and waiting with a fridge full of food to prep things. Some of them don't understand that 48 hours is too short for a catered event. Even if it's sandwiches, that's a huge rush to have to go to the store and get everything at the store and then 
bring it back to the kitchen to prep it. It doesn't sound complex, but it's a lot of extra footwork. It costs extra because when you order in bulk from a supplier, or you know, you have a supplier in general, those prices tend to be lower because it's at wholesale. Whereas if you have to go to the store, you're buying it after the store has done their markup. So you lose some of your profit margin. It's extra scrambling. And you have to be sure you got team members available to go shopping. If not, you're doing it yourself. We have typically a five day minimum order window for most events for us. There is things we can do next day. Like if they want to have just a coffee event, we got to bring the machine. We usually have everything on hand for that. We do not have everything on hand all the time for an elaborate canopy and champagne event. So usually we mandate five days. If they make any inquiry within 72 hours of the day of the event, there's usually a 15% fee on top of it because it means the entire team is dropping everything and going to get anything new for this event. It means anything else stops to take care of your event. If it's same day or day before, it's usually a no. And how we handle that is a nice apology. We would have loved to, but we cannot make this happen this fast without sacrificing quality. We really push that point. If it's too short notice, quality is going out the window. And then we offer them some alternatives like, hey, we can't help with this, but we would recommend contacting X canopy specialists. They might be willing to squeeze you in very last minute. We would recommend you going to um, Y shop to get the alcohol, da da da. And we're sorry, we simply cannot pull this together for you. Uh, we can point you in the right direction, but we, we simply can't make this happen. And it's always being apologetic. And wishing you could have done it is what's going to save you. And more often than not, we have had people come back with more time to plan. And there's lots of reasons this happens. Sometimes someone backs out last minute, and then it's an oh crap shuffle trying to find someone that can actually do it. And sometimes it's just lack of planning, and then you realize you forgot to book someone very important. We try our hardest to make any event happen. Uh, but the reality is you can't take them all. You can't do them all. So Hopefully this helps if you're trying to figure out how to decide if you're going to take on a last-minute request. Again, start by looking at how long your suppliers take to typically deliver and if you have the manpower to go local shopping. and Confirm if you can collect payment the same day and go start making purchases. And the biggest tip, do not say yes to a last minute event if you are not collecting at least half of that payment up front. More often than not, unfortunately, these are the clients that will back out at the absolute last minute and then you're stuck either not being able to return things or having to do the hassle of return. So be mindful. Go for any event you think you can do. But be sure you know the schedule of all your suppliers and have a backup plan if you want to be able to say yes. And definitely push having it on your site minimum order window times. It will also help keep away some of the noise for day before and same day. Inquiries. It is really tough when you have to tell someone no and their event is in a couple hours and there's just nothing you can do. So, as always, should you have any questions, please just drop it in the comments below. We'd be more than happy to help and catch you in the next video.